What's up fishy people? It's Brian with Be Little Fishing here. Out to do some fishing this morning. We're out at the uh, Three Fountain Pond this morning and it's early. It's just before 8 o'clock. They haven't actually turned the fountains on yet so the water is just super, super still. Uh, there's a bunch of little steam or fog just right on top of the water. Um, so we're going to start off this morning throwing a new Strike King lipless crankbait. It's a shad uh, replication. So see if we can't get some reaction bites this morning from some bass. So I'm going to bring you guys along. We'll see you in a bit. Man. <laughs> I felt tap tap and uh I don't know what happened there. I must have just, just barely had him. There we go. I got him that time. He came back for it. That's why I missed him last time. Look at that guy. The crankbait's bigger than he is. Fish number one. There's the, uh, make sure you can see that really good. It's the Strike King lipless crankbait shad, bluegill shad. As I was saying yesterday about first times doing things, that is the first fish I've ever caught on a lipless crankbait. Um, I, I've just never, growing up, I never threw a lot of crankbaits. I threw them from time to time, and I usually only did that whenever I wanted to snag something and lose it in a tree. I grew up fishing, like with a regular, you know, a Zebco 33, and then uh, I fished a lot of ultralight, because I did a lot of waiting for crappie uh, wherever I was growing up, so never fishing for big bass really. So I just never threw lots of different types of baits. It was always crappie jigs, live bait, minnows and worms, and then occasionally plastic worms, but even then didn't throw a lot of plastic then either. Is that a rubber band? Yeah. I caught a rubber band out in the bottom of the pond. Don't know why there's a rubber band in the bottom of the pond, but we'll take that home with us. All right, so this is what we switched to. Put the square bill up. Terminator spinner bait. It's kind of a, I don't know, bluegill shad color pattern. Got a Strike King Rage Tail swim bait on the back as a trailer. So this has a, a mixture. You've got the main willow blade, and then you've got a little gold Colorado blade. So it's a three eighths ounce spinner bait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I, I seriously thought I had a piece of grass. I think this is a new record. That is hilarious. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can get my finger in his mouth. Yep, barely. Look at that guy's belly. He is so fat for his size. He is a monster. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. You saw how fat that guy was. There's no possible way he could eat something that size. And he swiped at it. I mean, that is just... Man, these bass are ultra aggressive. Especially this time of year. They're fattening up for the fall and winter. Just crazy. There we go. I got hit it. I got my drag so loose it's gonna take me forever to get him in here. That's a better one. He's a pound. He's close to a pound. He's not. Good looking little bass there. He's not too thick yet. Not as thick as that, that one little one was for his size. But uh, yeah, it's a good fish right there. So guys, we're going to take a look at the different setups we use today to catch fish. So setup number one you saw this morning, we've got the Luz Mach 2 rod and reel combo, fishing with a Strike King shad colored lipless crankbait. The second setup I caught those last two bass on was an ultralight spinning rod. It's a field and stream tango edition from Dick Sporting Goods. I've got a Luz spinning reel on here. It's a CF 2000, I believe. It's one of their smaller models. And I caught them on a little, like an eighth ounce Strike King chartreuse spinner bait with a Colorado blade. Well, fishy people, we had a good morning on the water. Went to two different ponds. Started at the Three Fountain Pond before the fountains were on this morning, so very calm water um, got one small bass which you saw got a couple of nibbles but nothing else exciting switch to spinner bait square bill and just nothing else would commit to it so moved on from there came over to another little pond that's attached to a sports complex and dog park just a little community pond um, didn't get any bites throwing the jig. Had a black and blue jig on there with a craw trailer. No bites. Uh, put on the little finesse spinner bait on my spinning combo and was able to pull in a couple of little bass that way. Um, you saw the one ultra tiny. I can't believe he even swiped at that spinner bait. But when you look at his stomach, you can see how fat he was. I mean, that guy is getting ready for winter. Um, that second bass here, uh, third one for the day, was about a pound. You know, he was he was fun to get in. So, overall, a great morning. Um, just, you know, really appreciate y'all coming along for the journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. That way you'll see all of the videos as they get posted. And if you want to see any of the equipment that we're using, there's Amazon links to purchase that in the description below. If you want to make any purchases there, helps out the channel, really appreciate it. Have a great day.